Hi, welcome back to Prepites. So, uh, we're going to be continuing on with our journey where we are trying to create this uh, completely functional chat application of ours. Now, uh, in the previous session, we had went in and discussed in terms of how exactly are we going to be integrating our chat rods onto our front end. And uh, this particular session, we're going to be taking it further and majorly uh, dealing with the uh, the message routes that we had managed to go in and create up in the previous session. Okay, so uh, we have two such routes. We have the all messages and the send message route. And both of these routes are going to be pretty pivotal, especially if we want to go in and uh, send messages and see the messages that have been sent by another person. So, um, uh, you know, we've already implemented these. Let's just, let me just directly go in and take you into our uh, front end over here. And uh, we can also kind of go in and address the uh, one such issue that you might go in and see uh, once you finish, you know, integrating all of these routes into your front end. Okay, so I have my root folder and everything set up over here as it should be. And now talking about these two uh, routes, these, these two APIs, the all messages and the send message API, both of them are going to go in and come into the picture in our chat area, right? So this is the component where all the information is going to be went in and, uh, you know, displayed out regarding messages. And also, uh, you're going to be able to send messages as well, right? So the message self and message others components have been created for the same purpose. And another thing is at the very bottom, we do have, um, the send um, button, which is fairly simple. So you're going to have a small input element over there inside of which you go in and you type some text. Um, the moment you go in and you click on, uh, the send button, or there's one additional thing that I'd added on over here, which is an on key down event. So the thing is generally we tend to have this feature, you know, this habit that you type down a message, you press enter and the message gets sent. So in order to just get the same thing here, uh, I'm using the on key down event. And what it does is it goes in and listens to uh, a key press event. And if the key that is uh, getting pressed, if it's code is that of enter, then I'll be sending the message and also setting the message content to an empty string. Now, the reason I'm doing so is because the input element that I have over here needs to go in and gets reset to an empty input element, right? So you're going to type something, the message is going to get sent, and then the message content is going to, uh, you know, be set to an empty string. This operation will be done in two instances. If you press the send icon, that is one of the instances when this is going to happen. Or if you go in and press the enter, that's also one of the other instances. I've managed to integrate this same, um, you know, on key down event even in for the login and registration uh, component as well, because you know it, it felt kind of good to just type in the username and the password and just press enter and it will log you in or you know, register yourself out. So uh, without uh, now that out of this way, uh, let's talk about the additional stuff, right? So uh, the two APIs, the first API, which is the send message API, which I've already shown you out over here. So this is the message, uh, send message API, uh, send message function, which indirectly goes in and calls, uh, makes a call to our uh, post method over here, which sends it to our, uh, you know, send message API that we had already created. Okay. So if I take you into my backend over here within message routes, you can see the send message API, which is just, just slash and then you know, message slash, right? So whatever is going to be my root, uh, slash message slash. So you can go in and send in the message provided you give it to such information, which is, uh, going to be nothing but the content of the message and the chat to which you're sending the message. All right. So once this is taken care of, I'm going to just directly head back into my chat area component. And this is the function, which is going to get fired the moment you either press enter or you click on that send icon button. So uh, it's making a post request to our API and then I have my object over here with the data and my configuration because authentication, you know, I need to be authorized to be able to go in and send a message. Okay. So this is an all, uh, is as straightforward as that. And I'm doing one more thing, which is to just, you know, going in and doing a small console log over here just to check it is just for you people. So even I'll say, you know, make is a practice whenever you do make in a certain functions as and such, just to see that they're working in as they should, you can go in and throw in some console logs here and there, uh, just be aware of going in and taking them out before 
deploying the final thing but there you go now uh i also have made this use effect call uh which is going to go in and fetch in all of the messages so this is the same get request method uh the sorry the get uh request method that we have created in our chat uh uh routes right so in, in within our sorry within our message route so we had already created this route for uh all messages and it's the same one that i'm invoking over here so all the messages are going to get go went in and stored inside of the state variable call as all messages now you might notice that there is a state variable that i've created call as all messages copy i will get to the point on why we do why exactly we are going to be needing this okay so i'm going to come to the point in a minute but so the idea here is the moment this chart array component goes in and mounts it's going to go in and uh, you know the use effect is going to kick in it's going to fetch all the messages from our backend and will be stored inside of the state in the chart of the state variable called as all messages and all i have to go in and do here is to just uh, iterate over this state variable and i'm fetching in uh, you know what i've done over here is i'm just taking in one item at a time um uh, and also we want the messages to be uh displayed in the reverse order okay see because all the messages that i have is like message 1 message 2 message 3 message 4 message 5 uh so they are you know if i go in and i directly just go in and iterate over them the messages will for some reason not for some reason it as their order is in ascending order in in terms of time stamps uh the messages will get displayed in the reverse order of that we need because we always want the latest message to be present at the bottom part right but if we if i don't go in and do this reversal part here and here itself the problem that we're going to end up facing is that uh you know the messages will be in reverse order also i've used the uh you know the flex the css flex uh direction property so i've set it to column reverse so that the messages go in and come in reverse order so uh, a few tweaks here and there but overall i'll say uh coming down to the back end everything is all in terms of fetching the information from this all messages state variable and depending on whether i have sent it or the other person has sent it okay so if the sender id is equal to the id of the person who is currently using the application if that is the case then i have sent it so i'm going to go in and invoke the message self component else i'll invoke the message others component both of them are the same component take the same set of props the only thing is i've changed the css for a few bunch of elements that are there inside of both of them and that's it now once this is taken care of okay once you taken care of all of this you will have a a pretty well and all working uh, chat application with you with a small caveat okay it works but there is a catch okay so so far what we've done is we created all the routes we created our ui we integrated all of them everything is good okay but there is one small a really small problem that you might come across and that is something we need to address and fix so i'll just go in and uh, you know i i have two browsers open up over here and uh, the the reason so is because it's a chat application so obviously there has to be a conversation that happens between two people right so uh in order for me to go in and do so i'm going to just create up two accounts over here uh, so the first one will be for user1 okay and let's just go in and say user1@gmail.com maybe why not uh and this is going to be for password okay so i'm i'm just going in and setting up two users who are going to be using our application so as you can see i'm going to click on don't save so user1 so we're currently logged in as user1 let's create one more he's going to be user2 and so it will be user2 at the rate email.com all right and let me set the password as something okay this is fine okay i'll click on don't save so i have two users over here and uh, so this is user2 and here i have user1 so i have both the users currently uh, logged in and registered within our application and if i go into the available users tab also you can notice that i have a uh, user 1 has user 2 available and user 2 has user 1 available uh, in the available users so by clicking on any one of them i can go in and instantiate a chat so there you go so you can see now user 1 has a new chat started with user 2 and user 2 has a new chat started with user 1 okay so that and all is going on good i'm going to click on user 2 and over here as well so that let's see let's see how 
messaging functionality works so i'm going to go in and send up a message i'm going to say hi and um, okay all right so nothing nothing is uh, updating let's see let's let's try refreshing the web page over here i'm going to refresh the left hand side okay so that showed up i'm going to refresh the right hand side and that also showed up okay so uh, th th this is kind of the problem right now so uh, the the conversations that are happening are unfortunately not live time they are not real time conversations the problem here is i'm sending in the information the information does go into my database but the problem here is unless and until this this component goes in and refreshes the you know in both the cases okay so while firing then also i should go in and refresh which we can do by by in internal like by using some things in front end but for back but for the person who's receiving it's going to be another problem altogether because you cannot just go in and keep refreshing the web page every single second or every other minute right you cannot do that so this is the last issue that we will have to go in and rectify okay so uh, what we want is that at any point of time a message gets sent from one user okay so let's say user 1 goes in and sends let's say a second uh, message i'm going to press and enter the message is sent but the only problem is the component has to re-render this one as well as that of the the receiver okay so the once it re-renders okay then it is fine so we need to figure out a way on such ki we can make this conversation this communication real time and that is exactly where socket.io is going to go in and come in handy for us okay so uh, so far whatever we implemented is great and good in its own place but just so that we can go in and ensure that there is this real time con communication happening to individual people or between a group of people we will have to go in and utilize this particular library which is called as socket.io okay so there are a lot of ways uh, why exactly socket.io uh, because it's pretty much most commonly used whenever you want to go in and add in this uh this live chat feature or any chatting features socket.io is the go to library i would say there are many alternatives you can even go in and implement something called as polling which uh, we could have implemented that as well the thing being like we'll be firing a certain number of requests let's say 100 requests in uh, in a minute or in, sorry in uh, let's say we're going to go in and fire like 20 requests in a second okay and this requests are going to be sent down to our back end and the only problem with polling is it's kind of waste of a lot of resources even though it will work that we're going to keep pinging our back end oh, okay is there a new message is there a new message is there a new message we're going to keep doing this on and on and on uh, multiple times a second so it's it's wastage of resources and as well as i'll say you know this particular library that we are going to be using is a socket.io is one of the most used uh, libraries i would say when it comes to real time communication or real time chats okay so that is what we are going to be going and doing in the upcoming video uh, where we'll be uh, integrating we'll be seeing we'll be integrating socket.io and seeing in for us uh, how exactly is this application going to work once we have socket.io integrate so right now as you had already seen even though the messages are being sent even though the messages can be read the problem is we need to refresh the web page so as to do that okay so uh, that is all for this particular video in the next session we are going to be going in and integrating socket.io and completing out the overall functionality of our chat application so that will be all for this video i'll see you in the next one